Hey, St. Luke's Presbyterians, it's David, and I am overjoyed to be making this check-in with you because it's one that we've been waiting and yearning for for a long, long time during this pandemic. Uh, but in gratitude to God for safekeeping and waymaking in these times, we are ready to joyfully announce that the session has unanimously authorized in-person gathering, including worship in St. Luke's Sanctuary, to be celebrated first on Sunday, June 6th at 10.30 a.m. This service will be broadcast every week online at the same time and available at any time thereafter. Starting on that same day, we will also offer a weekly outdoor worship service at 9 a.m., weather permitting. Now, uh, a few things to review about uh, the gathering that, that we will do. Uh, these guiding principles will uh, inform and uh, guide us in how we will do the gathering that we will do. The session requests that while coming to and going from all gatherings, each attendee three years old and up will wear a mask coming and going. Uh, groups will sit in their household pods, socially distant from others in designated seating areas. Extended family groups may sit together if space allows. And if you, if you attend worship by yourself, you may sit with worshipers of another household, provided that you are all in agreement about doing so and that you have each been vaccinated. For indoor events, once seated and then as long as social distance can be maintained, vaccinated individuals may remove their masks once in place. Now for outdoor events, uh, once seated and as long as social distance can be maintained, uh, everyone may remove their masks at outdoor uh, gathered events. And for all gathering events, the rules of the times apply. If, if you're not feeling well, please stay home. But uh, a few additional clarifying notes, uh, especially as pertains to Sunday uh, sanctuary worship. No pre-registration will be required. We think we can reasonably accommodate those who will be here, but your attendance will be recorded. We'll all be filling out the friendship pad uh, to make sure that we have record of everyone who is here. Uh, pods, uh, as, as we've uh, said, pods of households, uh, people living together in these times are welcome to sit together, uh, each pod socially distant uh, from another. We don't uh, foresee exceeding the sanctuary's capacity, but we will be prepared if uh, that blessed event occurs. Uh, there will be overflow seating available elsewhere in the church where you can still participate and listen in. Music will be offered, but uh, not yet by the choir or by congregational singing. We uh, expect that as conditions around us improve, that we can venture into that uh, territory in our worship life, um, hopefully sooner than later, but uh, that is all to be determined. Communion will, be continue, uh, will continue to be served safely on first Sundays of the month, as we have been doing in the outdoor sanctuary using individual fellowship cups. And I'm very pleased to share uh, that the results of our survey of the congregation are in, and nearly all St. Luke's members eligible have been vaccinated, uh, to the best of our knowledge. Uh, though we are mindful that we can't guarantee the vaccination status of everyone who will be attending our gatherings. And of course, children under 12 are not yet eligible. Uh, all in-person gatherings, uh, there, there are other uh, groups and meetings that are now uh, authorized by the session to gather in person here on campus with those same uh, principles applying. And any in-person gatherings on campus, uh, they, they must be scheduled and cleared through our building coordinator, Matt Dobson, and his contact information is available here in uh, the email associated with this video. So please contact Matt uh, to schedule an in-person gathering that uh, you and your group might have been waiting for. We are so happy that this time is upon us and uh, we celebrate the way that at long last God has made for our congregation to get through this time, uh, but also that we've gotten through safely. We've been able to, for 15 months now, remain active and um, uh, without transmitting COVID during the pandemic. 
we're so grateful for that that we can now claim having conducted ourselves safely thus far. And we're joyful that the suspension of in-person sanctuary worship is ending, even though the pandemic has not. We will, as we go forward, remain sensible, careful, and passionate, compassionate, and passionate, while we return to regular practices of in-person gathering. And we will also continue to adapt as we go forward, mindful of updates uh, that could be coming from the CDC about what's safe to do and how. Friends, I'm grateful for this life of grace and grit that we have not just endured, but flourished in together. And I am also going to be uh, overcome with emotion and gathering in this beautiful sacred place with you on Sunday, June 6th. We'll see you there uh, or somewhere soon. And uh, I hope to see you this Sunday as we celebrate Pentecost in one of our uh, remaining outdoor sanctuary worship services. Feel free to wear red as a Pentecost tr tradition of color and uh, let us celebrate the birth of the Spirit and the movement of God's Spirit in the life of this wonderful <laughs> congregation. Peace be with you. Have a great weekend and we'll see you Sunday. <laughs>